Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello everyone. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to design a, a single footing using ASTIP Foundation software. So this software is available in my Facebook page. You can download and install. And after that, you can uh, use another analysis uh, software such as ETABS or SAP. Then bring the data in in a separate sheet and then you can choose what kind of uh, footing you want so here is five type of uh, footing the first is spread footing that draft foundation and the second is strap footing and uh, combined footing as well as wall footing and pile cap footing so in this uh, uh, tutorial just i want to uh, design this footing so i will give it footing number one uh, so i suppose to have uh, the length of the footing two meters and the uh, uh, weight of the footing is two meters and the column size is uh, 40 by 40. so we have a live loot which we uh, got from the analysis uh, actual loot 120 kilonewtons and a dead load 150 kilonewtons and the maximum moment is here in x direction and z direction and also we have this shear force the soil cover which is uh, in the uh, which cover the footing is 30 centimeters so the water content is assumed to be 60 centimeters the soil pressure is 150 kilonewton per square meters and friction angle is uh, 28 degrees so we suppose the concrete uh, using uh, C30, mark C30 megapascal, and uh, uh, FEY, uh, which is the yield uh, 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 concrete C30, and FEY, which is the yield strength of the steel we're using uh, uh, 415 megapascal. Uh, we go quickly to the software first here we can select split footing and give a name if one here is name and we're gonna open the uh, software the first thing is the geometry and uh, we can uh, go to the design choose the units and I'm going to use SI units okay and then i'm going to give the direction this is x direction and this is redirection so uh, the z direction is two meters and the y, z direc y uh, x and z direction both are two meters the foot in thickness is uh, assume uh, 60 centimeters and the soil cover is we already giving here 30 centimeters and the water content is 60 meters so I'm going to use 0 and the column sizes uh, we also have another option for steel column but uh, for our, our work just we're using uh, concrete so this is the offset which is this offset in Z uh, if there is any eccentricity in, in the column you want the column should uh, locating somewhere else of this foundation then you can give uh, your uh, uh, required uh, offset but for me I assume this is in center of the uh, on this footing so I give zero so the next is the column geometry and foundation geometry is completed we are going to the loading for the dead load we have 100 50 kilonewtons and the uh, MEX is MEX is we can uh, use 57 and MEZ is 26 kilonewtons times M meters and shear force 25 and 50 uh, in a Z direction shear force and uh, we have another live load which is just uh, as actual force 120 uh, so this two we don't have another uh, another reduced live load or similar load or wind so we assume this is uh, 
uh, other is uh, zero. Just we have live load and uh, date load. The material we want to use is concrete grid, 30 megapascal, and uh, uh, for the footing, and the ribbon for uh, for year strength is 415, and the concrete density is 2,224 kN per cubic meters. And uh, same we using for uh, column. And uh, tensile, we also consider tensile yield strings and concrete is density is same. Another uh, parameter is that soil, we using uh, soil pressure, which is uh, 150. Uh, soil pressure is 150. And the fraction coefficient is 0 0.7. We can uh, select other. Uh, like coarse grain it's cells and but the cell the, uh, the our foot is uh, uh, coarse grain it's so, uh, uh, cell or soil so the initial is 28 uh, degrees the soil cover density is it can be uh, 18 or 16 kilonewton per square but it's 17 is okay uh, now Material is finished. We're going to reinforcing rebar. So from the column design, maybe we have we have some data how many uh, rebar we have in from the column. Now outer bar, which is in an x direction in this, and uh, uh, here we can call the uh, top if you want to provide in the top of top reinforcement then you can check if do you want to provide top then you uh, want to uncheck uh, the concrete cover is uh, uh, almost 8 centimeters and uh, the bar sizes we can select number bar 20 and diameters 20 and uh, in the x this is z bar and this is x bar and uh, uh, for the bottom, this is bottom and this is top. We're using the same. Uh, uh, top is can be six centimeters, and uh, here is using again uh, twenty uh, diameter twenty. Do you want to have some sort of oaks or not in X line? Uh, if we provide oaks, that's uh, be better in in the top and the both direction in negative one is negative one is positive so we want both should provide in xc uh, uh, so uh, this is the repo which we used top bottom and also with hooks and uh, uh, going to for column so the column is all using uh, list 25 and using top this is top bars uh, and bottom bars for this side for for this side for this side uh, so and also two in this side two in the left in this uh, we, we are we actually have uh, 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 six numbers and here is we have four numbers the concrete cover is five centimeters using the number 25. Uh, sorry, ties is uh, smaller. We're using uh, D8. The uh, here is finished the reinforcement. Now, if you want to add some information, then you can add otherwise, uh, like what kind of project is called. Uh, uh, foundation, let's see, it's called uh, John and, and Foundation 1. If there is any note, you can give. Uh, here we can check the results, and the maximum bearing pressure is 164, which is uh, uh, not. Uh, not uh, uh, our is 150, but 
uh, the maximum behaving pressure is which is higher so this load provide a higher pressure on the soil so what we can do is we should uh, change the geometry of of footing so that that footing when we uh, increase this so then, then the area increase so the the uh, the results will change and we get a lower pressure now let's see if we use just in one side and it's changed quietly so now it's 100 steel which is quite good for this allowable we got 109 even uh, for a high safety factor this stability check is very high so we can uh, we can uh, make it to to an e and this is 130 and uh, this is but uplift so, uh, safety factor is very least so that's better to use uh, even larger so now the safety factor is still same but uh, if I used Seventy. Uh, uh, this sliding safety factor increase and the uh, uplift uh, safety factor is because we have a larger moment, so we should uh, uh, re reduce uh, or, or increase the the match higher to check this, but it's okay and. Uh, uplift uh, safety factor is also okay so now we can see another uh, the shear design is ratio is 0 0.9 is okay and the punching is also okay and the reinforcement is ratio is very zero which is we have a lot a lot of uh, provided moments which giving top and bottom top bot, uh, rewards and uh, in the z direction and um, all these parameters quite well and the column is also uh, okay we have 150 it's 200 which is quite higher and actual strength is very high and this is uh, and now uh, we can check one by one and see uh, each uh, pause separately and we can uh, see the uh, soil pressure and the combination 1d1 and also we can uh, get other like punching shear and all these other data so here is some more detail which is uh, with all the equations used in this uh, designing parts and here is the final which is our project so the first thing is the geometry of loading and this is the graph of uh, pressure which this part is lazy here is higher and this is the location of column and the size of the column quite well so now we can see one way shear uh, results this is the one way shear results and the shear is here 117.1 and here is list which is we see and here is the punching graph so the punching is 1.2 meters far away the columns and the bending so this is the region for bending which will bend and here is the column uh, capacities uh, infraction curves uh, we can see the column is very high uh, which uh, strength is very high and we uh, have in this point so our concrete is in this point so this is very good so the construction is like this we have uh, a 50 centimeters foundation and this is 30 then it will be soil and uh, the uh, oak from the column comes like this and the rebar so this is the final step which is going to uh, construct now this is done we can uh, 
print a, a detailed report from our foundation. Designer Foundation 1 and we can see all the graphs and equation which used in this uh, uh, design parts so you can see in the results Here is completed. Uh, so the project project's name and engineers and also the dates, everything. So the side, the geometries. So the result is very comprehensive and you can understand each steps when you design a foundation and also the drawing. So this is very quick, quick and also effective and uh, reliable. So each equation they use, they giving a reference like using HCI equation 20 new. Each equation, each uh, uh, expression, they giving the reference, uh, which is exactly you can search and also check, calculate handy and see the result. So this is the end of the tutorial. If there is any question, please put in the comment and I will find time to answer your question. And see you next time.